Hello, welcome to the technical talk video series and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to set up webpack configuration for separate environment means development or production. So before jump to the code, I'll just give you a brief about what step we needed. The first step we need to set up the webpack environment that I already described in my first and second video in this series. And the second step, we need to update the package.json file with below line. You can see here we have script section, start and build. Start, we are using webpack dev server because it's a development environment. And we need to use webpack.dev.js. I will give you a brief about this file later on in this video. The second one is build webpack config webpack prod.js. So when we are running local, we use start. And when we are preparing build for production environment, we need to use this build. The third step, we need to add three files. The first one is webpack.prod.js, that is for production environment. The second file, webpack.dev.js, that is for development environment. And third, I just created because, you know, few step we needed in development environment and production environment. So I just make it separate in a common .js file so that we can use that thing in dev and production environment just to make a reusability. So for that purpose I use webpack.common.js. The fourth and imp important part is we need some plugins that is path, webpack merger and html webpack plugin. So these are the three plugins we need to install using npm install. If you are using mac then you can use sudo npm install path sudo npm install webpack slash merger dash merger and npm install html webpack plugin so these are the four steps basically what we need to do to prepare the environment for different environment okay i'll just give you a code sample example like how we can do it the first step I just described you, I just need to update this script section what I already did it. Script section start and build. So you can see in start when I run npm start I just use webpack.dev.js and for production I just need to use a build. So this is the first step. The second step is webpack.common.js. So as I explained you in a, a presentation like we need a path plugin so i just use constant path required path and the second thing we need html webpack plugin okay so in the common section the few things that is common for both environment like development environment and production environment i just keep it here so the first part is entry so entry property so this first property is showing what exactly the entry point for this application that is the main dot js that is the entry point area for this the second property is output the output is showing because in the application we are using multiple js file okay so all the js files we just prepare the bundle and where i just need to put this bundle as the output i just just i just define here like output file name src bundle.js so when i prepare the application and when we run then you can see that bundle.js file have all the js code and that bundle.js file exists inside the src folder the third one is plugin we use html webpack plugin so html webpack plugin basically we need to define it if we never define template inside then by default webpack create a webpack html index.html page but i wanted to use my index.html page so i just used to define template index.html and four section is a module here in this section because i'm using webpack 4 so i'm using rules because in previous version of web, webpack we are using loaders here because in webpack 4 onwards no more loader so rules here we define some rules the first one is like if js file is there exclude node module js we are using babel loader that is a loader and query is a preset ecmax 2015 and react so that is a preset what we are using pebble.loader basically just to transform your code in a browser compatibility code that's it so these are the first step what we did here the second 
as I told you, just create a folder webpack.dev.js. So in dev.js, I just use webpack.merger. So webpack.merge plugin use to merge all the webpacks plugin, what uh, webpacks JS file what we have already so you can see here I just use webpacks merger and then I just use webpacks common .js file so what we have already here so instead of defining this thing again and again I just keep it in common folder common file get the reference here and then with this merge object I just use merge common merge with this code so in dev environment we need to set only the mode what is the mode of this webpack.dev.js is development dev tool is inline source map and dev server because you are running development environment on your local host so you need to define some port port you can define anything i just defined 2018 you can define anything else okay so these are the things we needed for development environment the production environment we just need to define mode is the production and dev tool is the source map we don't need to define dev server because production environment is not running in some live environment so we don't need to define any dev server here so these are the things basically what we needed to do the webpack configuration for separate environment so i'm just going to run my application here now npm start so when we run the npm start they automatically create a local host environment for you you can see here application is running perfectly fine and if i go here in inspect you can see perfect you can see src bundle.js so what we already explained here as an output section so you can see so that is the development environment and if you see here in a code section you can see like component config node module test okay now everything is perfectly fine in development environment now i'm going to prepare build for production environment so i just use npm npm run script build so now you can see here it's showing like webpacks config webpacks prod.js because we define here if we can define here webpack this one so automatically reference to the webpack prod.js now you can see here by default once it's successfully done then you can see here we can you can see a uh, one folder is dist folder inside the dist folder you can see src src is bundle.js what you define here index.html page that is by default they provide and automatically they inject that is skipped for you here src bundle.js and we have a bundle.js.map file because we define uh, yes we define dev tools source map that's why if we are not defining this thing Will never come and then this folder what we have just this folder you just deploy in your server environment and you can see the application will run for you so I'll just show you because I don't have a production environment so I just open this page uh, in webstorm because webstorm also provide a, you know environment for you to run this this application so I just use only this section okay so you can see here index.html bundle.js so this is the different environment is production and this is the development environment so this is the way how you configure your webpack setting for different different environment thank you so much if you have any query any concern in term of like how to do this thing just 
send me an email. I'll just try to help you out how to do it for you. Thank you so much.